Hello, I'm John Stamps at BMC Software. This video describes how to upgrade the Linux version of BladeLogic server automation to 8.8. .8. Before you begin, I'm not going to go through the entire list of prerequisites to prepare your Linux environment. The documentation does a great job of that. Make sure that your 8.6 or your 8.7 installed version is working correctly. This includes logging in to the application server and making sure that you can access it and going into the Pixie server and the RSCD agents and making sure that they're all running. Broadcast a message to your users that you're going to have to back up the Oracle database and upgrade the server. Blade Logic will not be available during this part of the upgrade. Your users will experience a window of downtime. Finally, the installer does not upgrade the BMC Server Automation console running on the application server host. If you run the console after the upgrade, you see the following error. You absolutely 100% must run the same version of the server with the console. So you have a fundamental choice here. You must either manually upgrade the console or you must uninstall it. We're going to follow our own BMC recommendation and we're going to uninstall the BladeLogic console from the server host and then install it on a different host. To prepare for the upgrade, the first thing you must do is download the two required zip files from EPD, that is the LIN64 zip file and the RSCD agent file. Then extract the two zip files and then move or copy the RSCD folder into the installers folder from where you extracted the installer executable. You're now ready to start the upgrade. There's a couple of things you need to do before you start the upgrade. If you're running the upgrade on a VM, go into the VM and take a snapshot of the VM. Then back up the Oracle database. If you're using Oracle's Recovery Manager, the um, RMAN utility, you might have to set the database offline. And then you can bring the database back online. Finally, make sure that the RSCD agent, the application server, and the Pixie server processes are running. Let's start the upgrade. Navigate inside the installer directory and run the setup.bin install program. Select the language, review the welcome, select the end user license agreement. There are two pages of the end user license agreement that you have to click through. Enter your password in the authentication environment. Review the infrastructure in your environment. You want to make sure that your servers are all up and running. If they're not, you'll have to upgrade them manually and you don't want to do that. If you didn't do so already, broadcast a message to your users that the BladeLogic server is going to be temporarily unavailable during the upgrade. Click the acknowledgement and then click install. Then click next. How long the upgrade actually takes of course depends upon your environment. In the BMC lab the Linux upgrade took about two hours. 
When the upgrade is finished, review the summary and then click Done. Make sure that there are no failures and that all the components are running. We're now going to uninstall the old BladeLogic console. BMC strongly recommends that you do not run the console on the same system as the application server. In addition, the upgrade process doesn't work anyway. So we're going to follow our own advice and uninstall the console. Change directories down into the uninstall BMC client installer subdirectory. Run the uninstall.bin script and then go through the wizard. Select the language, review the welcome, select the components. Make sure that every component is selected. You want to delete all of these utilities. Click Next and then click Uninstall. In the preview panel, click Next one more time. When you're done, you can review the log. Otherwise, click Done to close the wizard. To install the BladeLogic console, copy the 64-bit version of the RSCD agent executables and the RCP installation files to a new host. Drill down into the RSCD directory and install the RSCD agent. When the installation is finished, go in and stop the RSCD service. During the installation, I had one small hiccup. There was a package I didn't install, so make sure that you install the Compat libterm cap package and the installation should be just fine. Now drill down into the RCP folder where the BladeLogic console executables are and then run the Linux script. Select a language Review the welcome window, review the license agreement, and accept it. You should install all of the components. As an option, you can install the default .nsh resource files into a, the Etsy scale directory as the default shell. The installer contains this option because this is a legacy piece of functionality that predates the application server. Most customers don't use the network shell this way anymore, so we're just going to ignore it. Preview the features and then install them. Installation is actually pretty quick. Review the log if you want to and then click Done. Now go back into the console and start the RSCD agent. To launch the console, drill down into the opt BMC Blade Logic CM RCP folder and then execute launcher. You must configure the console before you can use it. Click Options, click the Authentication Profiles tab and then click Add. We're going to add a profile name here. I used default profile because that's what I'd used earlier when the BladeLogic console was installed on the application server. Fill out all the information for the app server. For authentication, I selected Secure Remote Password. It's the most widely standard used protocol but there are a bunch of other options like LDAP you could also use. Enter the username, for example, BLAdmin. Enter the password. Click Connect. Initially, you see a nasty looking warning that the certificate is not initially trusted. That's because it's a self-signed certificate and not a certificate that comes from a trusted user 
like semantic. Accept the certificate. If you entered everything correctly, you should automatically log right into the upgraded 8.8 .8 server. You can now broadcast a message to your users that the blade logic upgrade is finished. And that is that. We've upgraded the Linux Blade Logic application server to 8.8 .8, and you've installed a new version of the Blade Logic console to access it. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you for watching.